Ever wondered why F1 cars are designed the way they are? What role does the front wing, the first part of the car that interacts with the fluid stream, play in the performance of an F1 car? Front aerodynamics is a pivotal, yet often overlooked aspect of F1 design. The front wing is fundamental, dictating the fluid stream's path that influences the car's entire aerodynamic flow. Each car, despite seemingly similar wings, boasts a unique fluid structure at the wing's exit. This particularity shapes the car's performance on the track. Take Red Bull for instance. They set the standard by embarking on a design path early on that was later proven successful. Engineers strive to manage the front wing most efficiently, leveraging its potential to balance the aerodynamic load. It's a complex dance between maintaining downforce and managing the wake of the front wheel. So, it's clear that front aerodynamics plays a crucial role in F1 racing. But how does the 2024 Ferrari F1 car stack up against others? When it comes to front aerodynamics, Red Bull has set the standard. But Ferrari isn't far behind. Let's delve into the comparison of the front aerodynamics of the 2024 Ferrari F1 car with others. The focus is on the design of the nose and the flaps. In 2023, Ferrari made some significant changes. They moved the attachment point of the nose tip from the first to the second flap, the ones with a larger cord. This is a characteristic observed in many cars. The first flap, often referred to as the main plane, has a similar span along the width of the wing profile. Interestingly, Red Bull's second flap shows a similar configuration, but it's wider by a few millimeters, especially at the ends. This design approach limits the aerodynamic blockage of the wing for flows directed towards the bottom of the car. Ferrari's intention was to increase outwash as much as possible, creating a strong difference in local static pressure between the inner and outer regions of the profile. However, the inner portion presented a larger horizontal region to generate a load and balance a car with a very weak front end. With the new Ferrari car, the main plane will most likely not change drastically, as it has already been the subject of many re-evaluations last year. As for the third and fourth flaps, we will definitely see a significant update. This will align Ferrari's design with the current trend, featuring a front wing trailing edge with less discontinuity. Ferrari's front end limits were more about balancing the overall setup, less about aerodynamics. The new car should see this area revised in various aspects. The aim? to regain the missing grip during the season and reduce the frontal obstruction given by the wing to favor the flow towards the central area of the car. Ferrari's approach to front aerodynamics is unique and innovative to say the least. It's a delicate dance between design, aerodynamics and performance, all aimed at achieving the perfect balance for maximum speed and control. As we can see, Ferrari's approach to front aerodynamics is unique and innovative. But what have we learned from this comparison? Let's recap what we've learned about front aerodynamics and Ferrari's approach. The front wing of an F1 car, often overlooked, plays a critical role in shaping the fluid stream that influences the path of particles throughout the car. Despite similarities in appearance, each car's front wing creates a unique fluid structure at its exit. Ferrari's front wing design has evolved over the years, with notable changes in the positioning of the nose tip and the configuration of the four flaps allowed by regulations. In 2023, Ferrari moved the attachment point of the nose tip, aiming to increase outwash and balance the car's front end. Looking ahead, we anticipate that Ferrari will continue to refine their front aerodynamics, particularly on the third and fourth flaps, to align with current trends and optimize the flow towards the car's center. In the world of F1 racing, every millimeter and design decision counts. As we've seen, Ferrari's approach to front aerodynamics is a testament to this fact.